<laughs> Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. I like them to leave a mess like this. I don't get it. You think we made a mistake? Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. I heard about their uh, misfortune, Tom. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh? Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Are you gonna take the bomb or what? What? You think the whole house is gonna blow itself up? Take the damn explosive. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Penny. We have to talk. Get in. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just 
make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise. Yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Here concludes our special report. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. He could probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. A lot of died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Held all my heart and Here's your stop. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Behave yourself in here, okay? Know where I can find the manager? I just watched the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir.
I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like, and don't make a fuss. Ooh, just how? Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. We can just talk if you don't want anything else. We can do what? What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. Come on, honey. Without you, how am I gonna pay the rent? I can tell you're nervous, but I can step you through what we gotta do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. You know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Get a guy, not before. Ugh, fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's in, but she's. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gonna. She's got fellas in with her all day long. getting the run of the place. And a manager having to play nice with his new friends. How come? That's when your new friends turn up with Tommy guns? That's what you do. Downtown 1702. Bruce, I can't come in. Johnny's sick. He don't care. He wants you here. I need to take him to a doctor. Is he dying? Then it don't matter. You need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. I can't do that. You're his best girl. And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is. You gotta come in and work. Please. Cover for me somehow. Listen. You wanna go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my guest. You told me what it was like. The fur coat and flashing the car's look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid will get better. But you're working on the street again, you'll see him worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you, but I can only do it for so long. I'll leave it to you. Bye. <clears throat>
to buy smokes. Says I ought to see the dog, but what does she know? <coughs> Been to one here for weeks. Like plenty of mooks like him come and go. <laughs> and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. treat women like this? You treat your mother like this? No, please! Huh. Don't like when it's doled out to you, do you? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it! Well, you meant it when you did it, you prick! Fuck him up, Charlie.
Michelle. What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. Shh. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square.
fear in the worst. He coughed up blood, and, well, there's been none since, but it's not a great sign. We're all pretending it didn't happen when we're around him. The mom is going to take um, him to the clinic downtown. Can I help you? We're packed in so tight in our building that whenever I hear a cough, my heart just gets up. If you want a girl, head back to the bar. They'll come over and uh, keep you entertained. Oh! <laughs> 
shot. Come I'm on him. Disappear. Over here! Ready to die!
what it looks like.
Contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good... What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Please! Oh my Andrew, Jesus! Please what is Billy involved Get over here now! Stopped all this days ago. Over here. This is 
the way this city works. Burn him out! Warming him up! Hit him from the side! I'm enjoying this! What have you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. <sighs> that make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. They keep coming! Come and get some, you first aid here! There's a swarm of Perugia around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hearse, let's go! Are you kidding? Don't let got wheels, don't it? We can run find another church. But we got cops everywhere.
Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Get your paper here. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hearse, let's go. Are you kidding? Cops everywhere! <laughs> Suspect and accomplice escaping in a hearse. I repeat, a hearse. <laughs> well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. We'll end up in the back. <laughs> Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They giving up yet? Don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. I'm trying. Getting cold saying we lost sight of the guy. Officers in Oakwood, stay on alert. Okay, we lost them. <sighs> Thank Christ. Gonna be. You're just gonna leave me here. Come on. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. I'm a busy guy, Tommy. We doing this or what? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Morello got a bloody nose. And you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased.
Come on, we got places we need to be. here forever, Tom. Where are you going? Come back to the car. here forever, Tom. Come on, we got places we need to be. Sat in the gin mill last night again. Come on. Where are you going? Come back to the car. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything.